Hello Aquarius and welcome to today's reading. I hope that all is well. If you are new here, I am your host, The Apocrypha. Pleasure to meet you. I hope you'll consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and dinging the dong if you really like my content. Disclaimers information decks are always in the description box down below. If you need to or want to have a look, then they are there for you. If you're already turning, welcome back, so family. I love you guys. Hugs. Okay. So I'm sorry if my energy is off today. A lot has been going on. Everyone's okay, though. I am going to post a uh, crystal uh, haul video. I hope that you'll consider joining me for that. Hopefully tomorrow. And if you ever have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know. My channel may be mostly uh, tarot content, but that is not all that I will nor plan to do. I want to share more. Um, I want to share more the magician reverse uh, about the other aspects of things I love, like fashion and stuff. So if you're interested in that, uh, let me know. So the magician in reverse. You may have been struggling feeling like you are worthy in some degree. You may have been struggling or feeling like you don't have what it takes or that you are missing a key to the puzzle. You're missing a, an important aspect of something to manifest what it is that you desire. Now, for some of you, it may be in regards to a job, a career, something like a passion project, something important to you. Hmm. Yeah, the sun and moon. You're trying to have balance in your life. You may have been feeling a lack of balance. You may be trying to focus on your third eye and your heart chakra for some of you. It's important to also to focus on the lower chakras. You have to have grounding in order to have a healthy, excuse me, understanding of what's going on. Excuse me, we have the King of Cups in reverse. This card fell in a way that like it hit and then it flipped over to reverse. Um, so take it as you may, but this is the King of Cups. There may have been a love situation, Aquarius, that you're struggling with or it may be in love about love self-love or otherwise for some of you I feel like it may be in career again something something tangible uh, maybe something within your home life something in your emotional something's making you very emotional and it's making you feel like you're not in a good place to manifest or to create what it is that you want. Mm. I'm like being called to this skull here that kind of has like an arrow going through its eye. It's like you have to remain focused on, keep your eye on the price. I know that you do deserve it. You have to change your, your aspect, your uh, perspective that you don't or that's not gonna come to you it will Aquarius you just have to believe and you have to you see the magician is here you have the magician qualities within you but it's in reverse so it shows a blockage but you have to know that you have it within you you just have to manifest you have to create but you have to focus on what it is that you want I saw 422. Four is about stability. Two is about a decision, about balance. Two and two make four, so 44 may be a significant number to you. We had several cards come out. I'm going to pull this top card. We have the Wheel of Fortune upright. And then underneath the deck, we have the Five of Wands in reverse. wheel of fortune you're trying to 
move past old cycles you're trying to end things that make you feel emotionally unstable or like you're not good enough you're trying to set fire to things people places and things theoretically okay <laughs> of course um, that don't resonate with you you're trying to transform energy from being stagnant to being positive or uh, transformative I don't know why there's this vibe that I'm getting here like of religion and of secrets or something Maybe there's aspects of, okay, this is a way for some of you, don't come at me, but for some of you, maybe there's aspects of your religion that you're realizing make you feel like you're not good enough, make you feel like you're not the magician of your own life, like you can't manifest your dreams or aspirations because, oh, it's evil or whatever the fuck. Bullshit. You can manifest fucking anything that you desire. You just have to have clear intentions, pure intentions, and make it happen. As long as you're not harming anyone, then who the fuck can tell you not, not to? I feel like some of you are realizing issues, power struggles, um, people may be hiding their true self around you, or like you have to hide your true self around certain people maybe a religious group that you are forced into um, or you feel forced into like maybe you're younger and your family forces you to do something you don't want to do and so you feel like you kind of have to hide your real self in, a di in some way you're not happy you don't feel emotionally emotionally fulfilled here With the five of wands, you're tired of having to guard yourself. You're tired of having to defend your beliefs, to defend like what it is that you want. You're not an evil person. You're not a bad person. You're not going around hurting, raping, murdering people, right? Then you're not a bad person. No matter what a religion or your family or whoever the fuck makes you believe like no that's bullshit let's see what the dragons have to say mm. self-worth I mentioned about self-worth didn't I with the magician here I was saying but then in reverse, you feel like you're not worthy. Like you feel like you're not able to do what it is that you want. And gifts, you are gifted. Maybe you're a spiritual person. And spirit and religion are two completely different things in my personal opinion. You're a spiritual person. Maybe you are forced into a religion and you're realizing it's not for you. And uh, you realize you have gifts of intuition, of maybe psychic sight knowing hearing anything feeling maybe you're very empathetic or something like that you have gifts and i feel like there are aspects of your family or people around you that are making you feel like you can't uh focus on those gifts and make them grow fuck that yes you can you need to know that you deserve it those gifts were given to you everyone has gifts but some have it more than others. Now everyone can, uh, can grow their gifts, can learn more and all of that. But some people, you know, you're born gifted for a reason. Don't shun it away just because some random person or whoever tells you that you can't. If spirit gifts you with something, it is for you. And the thing is, I believe you're blessed to be a blessing. You're blessed with these gifts. And yes, they can be difficult. Especially if you're an empath, you have to protect your energy and all of that. It can be very difficult to deal with those kind of things. But it is a necessary part of your path. 
Don't close off yourself to it just because of what other people think or say. Fuck that. You, you embody those gifts and you let it be known that it is a gift of light that you have been given to help other people. Okay, Aquarius? You deserve it. You deserve those gifts. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to know that you're good enough and that you can manifest fucking anything you desire. But you can't allow people, places, and things to keep you stuck on the wheel of fortune in a negative cycle. Okay, you gotta move forward and, and don't, don't pay no mind to all the bullshit, okay? You just gotta keep doing you and everything will fall into place, okay? So, I love you guys. I hope that this message resonated. I hope it brought you clarity and I hope you'll consider joining me for my little crystal tour that I plan on doing soon. I love you guys. Hugs. And I wish you the best. Bye Aquarius. <laughs>